Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an FPS system series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. So what I realized is that I kind of messed up on this series, that's why I've been holding off for so long. But the thing is, I wanted this series to be how to make a an FPS system that's easily customizable to make it your own game. And what I what happened is I kind of made it a how to make a game, like a an entire game series, which would be way too long. So I'm just going to try my best to turn this into an FPS system and hopefully end this series very soon. So let's start. Now, the first thing I did is delete the shop frame from my frames uh, frame. Just delete the frame called shop. And then I added a gun mesh to show you guys how to add secondary weapons now just go to the toolbox look for a mesh and i have this called and i renamed it to gun let's i'm just going to rename it to gun yes and uh make sure that it's not anchored and that can collide is unchecked now i'm going to drag my pistol to the workspace and see how it's how it's made so as you can see, this pistol is made of the gun and the handle. Now, I'm going to do the same thing here. So just select your gun, add a add a tool to the workspace. So just press the plus icon and add a tool. I'm going to rename it to gun. And I'm going to drag my gun in here. And I'm going to add a part and rename it to handle capital h by the way handle and i'm just going to resize my gun correctly so the pistol is this big so i'm going to scale this down a bit something like this yeah that should do and i'm going to select my gun and copy its position and I'm going to select my handle part, copy its position, paste it in. Now that should center it. And I'm going to change the size to 1, 1, 1. And I'm just going to drag my part wherever I want the gun to be facing. Now I'm going to select this little icon over here, which I can't find. Where was the icon to show the font surface? I don't really see it. I'm pretty sure it's a beta feature. Okay, what I'm going to do is just add a surface GUI, add a frame to it, and make, it make the frame color black. By the way, I'm doing this to the handle. And okay, so this is the front surface. So I'm just going to rotate this. That's good. Now what about this? Where is the front surface, surface for this? Okay, it's this too. So that's pretty much it for this. Now I'm going to re remove my surface GUI and make sure that the transparency of the handle part is set to one and that anchored is unchecked and that can collide is unchecked. Now I'm going to add a, I'm going to copy this script here and maybe try to make it a bit better. But I'm just going to copy it for now, paste it inside of the gun, and I'm going to rename this to gun or something. Yeah, let's just keep it at gun. And what I'm going to do is go to plugins, tool grip editor, tool grip editor, and you should see that I'm holding my gun like this. And what I'm going to do is drag this inside of the starter pack. By the way, I forgot to weld this. Really, really sorry for that. 
add the weld constraint set part zero to your handle and part one to your gun and drag both of these inside of the player's starter pack and i'm going to press deploy equip my gun and now equip my pistol and for some whatever reason it equips the same thing okay i just realized that to get this to work go to your main game go to guns pistol red pistol now i'm going to copy my pistol put it in here press f to zoom in and i'm going to rename it to gun and I'm, make sure that the name is the exact same name of your gun. And for pistol, I'm going to get rid of this. But before I do that, I'm going to copy the mesh inside of my gun. Paste it here. And copy the position of this pistol. Copy it. And paste it inside of the gun position. Now that should position it correctly, I'm going to rotate it by pressing Ctrl R a couple of times. And I'm definitely going to make it much bigger. And I'm going to delete the pistol. Now, we have a little problem here. Which is that the animations will not work with this. So go to Plugins, uh, Animation Editor, select this create a clip and as you can see i can now make my own animation so my hold animation will be this i'm just going to i don't know how uh this kind of gun is held so i'm just going to go for some random animation maybe something like this and for some reason i can't really move this gun okay i know why go to plugins I'm uh, pretty sure I showed you guys a plugin to use for this. And I don't really remember which one. I think it was the Moon Animator. So I'm just going to download that right now. Moon Animator. Okay, I can't find it, so I'm just going to go to the toolbox, inventory, uh, my plugins, and I'm going to search for moon. Install. And it's installed just like that. And now I can just go ahead, select this. I think I have to select the hymno part. Open up the moon animator and actually it was it was this it was easy weld and go to parts and make sure that animatable is checked and select your humanoid root part then the gun and then go join in place and that should create a motor 6d for your uh gun for your uh Gun mesh. Now go back to your animation editor, and I'm going. I can now select my gun, which is good. And I'm going to press R, position this like that, and yeah, that's that's that looks bad, but I'm just going to go with it anyways. And I'm just going to make sure go to set animation priority to action and i'm just going to go to the three dots save as or i think it was published to roblox and i'm going to rename this to hold gun to hold gun to create copy the id and i'm going to select my mesh and i'm going to go to the animations the hold animation I'm going to change it to this animation. Now that should be it. Hopefully, config is automatic. That will be that will definitely be set to true. Damage and uh, that's that's good enough. Now drag this back inside of your main Osher guns folder, and that should work. Hopefully.
deploy. Let's equip our gun. And nothing works. Let's view, view our output. No errors at all. To fix that, I'm going to go back to my gun. Enter my gun script. And as you can see, what we have here is view model. Come and wait for child guns. Go find for child. Okay. Change this to come and wait for child. And change this to script.parent.name. Call and clone. Now go back. Deploy. And as you can see, now we have a working gun. Now it's not positioned correctly, I know, but that's pretty much how it is. And you can it's not automatic yet. But we will be making automatic guns in the next video. But for now, this is what we have. And as you can see, this animation is not working for the character, so make sure to change that. And we can also switch between guns. And also, since I made it tool-based, it's really simple to create new, uh, new animations and new um, create shops and stuff. Now, go back to your pistol script. Go back to this. Rename this to gun, by the way. Or maybe let's just rename it to main client. Copy this, paste it here. And change this to, if you do script.parent.name, script.parent.name. And now I'm going to mess around with the C frame again. So a quick connection, sign speed. Okay, go back to your config. I think it was right here inside of my gun config. And I'm going to mess around with the C frame. Now, the Y, I want this to go down a bit. So I'm going to change this to 0.7 and this to maybe 3 or yeah, 3. Play the game. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that did not change anything, but 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 I do like the Y, and that's why I'm going to change this back to two, or maybe two point eight, and this to minus three, or yeah, minus three. I think that will move it, hopefully, right. No, it moved it left. Change this to three. And that's a bit too much. So I'll just change this to minus 1.8. I mean 1.8. And that is pretty good. And that is why this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please subscribe, please like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!